Hi everyone, how's it going? Today I bring to you a review of The Last Kingdom, uh, the first book of the Saxon Chronicles by Bernard Cornwall. And since the beginning of 2017, I've been trying to reread it and I finally was able to do it. Well, I have here an edition in Portuguese, a Brazilian edition of this book. But I haven't read this book, I got an audiobook because I wanted to read in English and I don't have the book in English and I'd like to use better the time I have each week traveling and commuting. So I got an audible The Last Kingdom by Bernard Cornwell narrated by Jonathan Kibble and this narrator he was very very good. I'll talk about it in just a few moments. First I just would like to tell you guys that nowadays I've been trying to film to upload more edition reviews instead of book hauls or book reviews or other kinds of videos because I think that I created book cravings because I wanted to share information about books, you know, and special information about book collecting. So I will definitely try to be more disciplined in this regard. I will try to publish more edition reviews instead of other kinds of videos and once in a while I will make a tag or a book review or a haul. Actually I try to film a haul and a TBR in the beginning of each month but probably in May we will have my last haul for a while because I put myself on a book buying ban because I'll be traveling to London in July and I plan to buy many books there so I will try to save some money and stop spending money here. So I'm just telling you guys why um, I decided to publish more edition reviews instead of other kinds of videos. So let's talk about The Last Kingdom by Bernard Cornwell. First of all, Bernard Cornwell is an amazing writer. He is an English writer. He was born in 1944 and he has more than 40 books published so far. The Last Kingdom is the first book of a series called The Saxon Chronicles or The Last Kingdom. This series is known by both these titles. And I read this book, I guess, in 2011, I think so. I have to check it out on my Goodreads. But yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. And I believe I read the first and the second book, but I'm not sure because I don't remember. And I've been wanting to read these books because I wanted to continue reading the series. So far we have like 10 books published, so I have a lot of reading to catch up with the series. Since I read this book so many years ago, I wanted to reread it and I wanted to reread it in English. So I got the audiobook and I listened to it. This audiobook is like not a very long audiobook. It's, I believe, 11 hours long and I read it while I was traveling, it took me like two days to listen to it and it was amazing because the narrator was so, so good. But going back to Ben O'Connell, why I enjoy his work. Ben O'Connell, in my opinion, is a really dry writer. He goes straight to the story and the things that are happening to the characters. In the Saxon Chronicles, he tells the story of how England fight back the Vikings or the Danes invasion and he tells how Alfred the Great unified England and resisted to the invasion. It tells a lot about the West Saxon um, people who fight the Vikings. So West Anglia, Northumbria and Mercia were invaded and the only, the last kingdom resisting the Danes, the Vikings, was Wessex and Alfred, after known as Alfred the Great, became the king of Wessex and he managed to resist the invasion of the Danes, you know. So it is a series focused on telling the story of how England became England, how England resisted the invasion of the Danes under Alfred the Great. But the way Cornwall tells the story is really interesting because he came up with a fictional character named Uthred. So Uthred is a fictional character and he, in this story, is the elder man by right of Northumbria. But when he was a child, 
He was kidnapped by the Vikings. His father died in combat and he was kidnapped and he was raised by Danes and he kind of became a Dane, you know? He was like adopted in a certain way by Ragnar and I will not spoil the book here, I just wanted to give you a glimpse of what this story is about. And in the first book we get to know Uthred, we get to know Alfred and we see how Uthred grew up among the Danes. It is a nice story and in my opinion what shines the most in Bernard Cornwell books are the battle scenes and information about combat, you know. The way he describes, the research he makes always, the scenes are amazing. This is one of the most praised aspects in his books. And in The Last Kingdom it is not different. The battle scenes are so amazing. You are like, your heart is racing when you are reading it. In my case I was listening to it when I was traveling. So it was so cool. My only criticism about his books is that I don't think they are emotional enough. I think he puts the human aspect away a little too much. He don't write like romances. So if you have a boy and a girl, you know, he will, oh, okay, and he, they were together. Something like that, really dry, without details about the relationships. I have read other books by him. I read his uh, retold history of King Arthur. Uh, actually, is the Warlord Chronicles. I read the Warlord Chronicles about King Arthur and I felt the same. The, book, the books are great, but there is a human aspect. There is so much dryness and in the language, in the way he describes human interaction. And yeah, and I enjoy this aspect, of, this human aspect in stories and the way people relate to each other. So this is a criticism of his book, but still I give The Last Kingdom five shining stars. I gave it the first time I read. I was thinking about giving it four stars, but no, I kept five stars because it is a great book and when it ends you feel you must grab the next book. I usually love the first books in a series and it is not strange at all that I love this one because it's the first one, it's the book in which we are introduced to the main characters and I plan maybe to start reading the next one in May or in June. I don't know, my TBR is crazy so far. This month I I'm so late with my TBR, I don't know if I will manage to read everything I wanted to read. I have many papers to finish, many stuff to do, mm, a lot of work. We have some holidays here in Brazil, in the next days maybe I'll be able to uh, catch up with my TBR. So BBC has a series called The Last Kingdom. The first season was released in 2015, I believe so. I watched four episodes and it is really good, but... I, I don't know, I shouldn't compare books and series because it's so unfair, but I think the book is so much better than the series in so many aspects. Especially because I just listened to the audiobook and the narrator was amazing. He was really amazing interpreting the characters, especially Ragnar. I think in the series Ragnar was so weak, so bleh, and in the book He's such an amazing character. I don't know, I have mixed feelings about the series. I will continue watching it because I think it is a good series, it's nice entertainment, but I believe the books are really, really better than the series, especially because, mm, for example, in the series there are some battle scenes, but they pale in comparison to the descriptions Baron Cornwall um, makes. So it, it is like impossible to not to compare The Last Kingdom with the Viking series, which I love and I think so much fun, you know, so I'll, I'll continue watching it. If you have watched the series, I think you, I think you should give uh, The Last Kingdom series a go because the books, in my opinion, will be much better than the story um, adapted to television because books are books and we love books and books are so much better than TV in my opinion okay I love series don't get me wrong I love movies but the experience I have with books are so much deeper and so much richer and yeah I think if you enjoy the series you should give 
the last kingdom uh, go okay so i think that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this video let me know your opinions about my other videos about um edition reviews in which i talk about everyman's library editions about folio society editions and some other special editions and collecting let me know your opinions you enjoy these videos or you prefer like standard booktube videos i want to know um the opinions of the people who actually subscribed to my channel i want to know what do you think about this should i keep uh, doing like standard booktube videos or should i focus more on edition reviews let me know your opinions okay i really will enjoy your feedback so i guess that's all for today see you in the next video bye bye